different form today at all. Um, so this was like two minutes ago. Uh, my name is Andrew Joseph O'Donnell. I am a junior at Westside High School, and I have consumed nine shots of espresso today. So I'm like, so I'm good. I'm fine. Is this might be even on. Okay, it's good. It's good. Uh, and this poem is entitled, Untitled. There are nights when the river of piano melodies sweep me through my front door. The frozen December winds gnaw at my naked toes unforgiving as I exhale chemicals into gorgeous gusts into the clear air as though to beg Mother Nature to share in my fatal choices with me. Brilliant collections of ancient gases illuminate the desolate darkness above me. In the far distance, a singular star burns brighter than the rest. I fixate my gaze into the eye of its pupil. I am convinced that this star is moving, an odyssey solely for me, for me, and I dare not to blink. Its heavenly dance, meant to ignite my soul and dare my humanity to wish upon it, to wish for something more, for all, for all the impossibilities that I have locked within my weathering veins. It dares me to once again find peace in the breezes of the night, the whispers of past generations still trapped between rustling hollow tree branches and the cold barrenness of once occupied nests perched in old wood. It challenges me to accept my pulse, to allow the earth to feel me again, to live a life full of poetry worth writing onto physical paper that once held a robin's nest that swayed in the breeze somewhere in the world. I want so badly to remember the touch of Mother Earth's lips against my bruised elbows, to run through her grass with bare feet, finding serenity and wonder in the permeating calm that resonates from the fresh dew between my torn toes. I wish I could live again. I wish I could breathe again. But somewhere in the cold, unforgiving winter sky over a silent city in Nebraska, a sole airplane is a deceptive dream.